Welcome back, Ability. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. Yesterday, we talked about how the adjustment impacts the brain and the body and creates new neuronal connections and drives the ability of neuroplasticity to be able to form new connections that can not only heal the body, but allow the body to function at a higher level. So today, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into some of the scientific constructs behind how the brain actually changes. So some of the terms we're gonna talk about today are neurogenesis, uh, the formation of new synapses, the strengthening of synapses, and the weakening of synapses. So first, neurogenesis. Neurogenesis is the forming of new neurons. Simply, the body, when it receives the proper stimulus, you know, via chiropractic adjustment to the brain, it is going to start to form new neurons. The body is constantly performing this process day in and day out. You'll hear this later in the week, but the brain is always learning. The brain is always looking for an opportunity to create connections, whether those connections be good or bad. This new neuronal connection or these new neurons forming allows us to form stronger connections within the body. This allows us to be able to better connect the brain with a part of the body that needs to heal. It allows us to connect better to a part of the body that is under-functioning or underperforming, which can lead to a wide variety of conditions. Many of the things that we see improve in the body. One thing that I simply think of is people that have, you know, issues controlling their emotions, issues controlling their mood, you know, or even kids that have inability to be able to focus. This really comes down to the neurotransmitters and the hormones in their, in their body being unable to be able to communicate at the proper level or be produced at the proper level because of the lack of connection. Every single time a chiropractic adjustment is delivered, it drives the proper stimulation to the areas of the brain and helps to reinforce this process of neurogenesis. Another mechanism that happens is the for forming of synapses. Synapses are very simply the connection from neuron to neuron that allows that information to be transmitted along that pathway. And the more synapses there are formed, the stronger and the quicker that connection happens. The more neurotransmitters being released from synapses means that there's a higher level of stimulation and the stimulus overall is increased. So if we're able to form new synapses because of the increased stimulation from an adjustment, that allows that, con that connection to be strengthened overall. And the repetition of this process and the consistency of this process is what allows us to drive that connection over and over again. Cons consistency is something that is so important when it comes to receiving chiropractic adjustments. This is why we stress for patients to stay on track with their original recommendations and to make sure that we make up or preemptively see them more often when they're gonna be missing those appointments. There is a reasoning behind everything. It isn't just because we wanna get more people into the office. We're not here to pump up numbers. We want to drive these neuronal connections and allow their bodies to perform at the level that they were supposed to. These new neural connections, these new synapses being formed cannot happen if there's significant gaps within their care. If there's significant gaps in receiving that stimulation via their spine to their brain, then the synaptic connections are not gonna form the way that they're supposed to. Finally, we'll talk about you know, weakened synapses. When there's been a lapse in time, when a connection is not being used within the brain, uh, I alluded to it earlier in the week, the brain will start to shut down that connection. It wants to get rid of weak connections in the body that are not being used so it can be as efficient as possible. The body is always gonna place a hierarchy on the things that it is looking to perform within the body. And if a connection is weak, it's going to shut it down. But it's our job here in the office to be able to drive the proper stimulation via the spine to the brain, to drive the proper connections, so that way the body can learn the proper patterns in which to function optimally. You know, as the quote goes, you know, it's on, you know, on the wall in several of our offices, the body really needs no help. It just needs no interference. Our bodies were designed in an amazing way to perform exceptional, exceptional functions without us having even to be able to think about it. But a lot of times along the way, whether it be to poor influences, injury, um, or improper biomechanics or learning, 
the body will start to deviate off its path. It will start to perform functions just to get by. It is our job to remove the interference from the spine, to drive that proper information to the brain, so that way we can return the body back to its former glory, the way that it was originally designed to function, to heal itself, to function at the highest level, so we can take people from just being able to survive to the ability to be able to thrive. Have an amazing day, Ability.